What's up, everybody? Afro Joe here, man. Now, I guess y'all heard the story about Soldier Boy dissing the truth. Motherfucker, what the hell is your malfunction, nigga? No, he's not. He, he, this, I'm gonna call it. Look, he, the name stick. Why don't you do me a favor? Why don't you, why don't you and Chris Brown do me a favor? Chris Brown, why don't you go choke another bitch so you can go back to jail? Soldier Boy, why don't you go punch a baby in the face so you can go to jail? And Lil Bow Wow, he can choke himself because all three of y'all some fucking fools. I don't see how y'all got a damn record deal and y'all all three of y'all dumb as hell. Think y'all badass big gun because y'all got tattoos and money. Y'all ain't shit to me. Y'all ain't nothing. You can't got tattoos all over the neck. Who that supposed to impress? Is that supposed to impress me? Who that supposed to I'm a thug. I, 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 I'm a fake thug. I'm going to get tattoos all over my neck and beat on women and rape little girls. You ain't, you ain't kidding me going around telling them, fuck the truth, fuck the FBI. Okay, I'm just waiting for the government to just get their hands on you and jack your little ass up, man. Because once they do, I'm going to laugh my ass out. I'm waiting for a soldier, a real soldier, just got out of combat. Just got out of combat, jack his ass up and molly whop him. Yes, I said molly whop. It's an old catchphrase that we used back in the day when I was in high school. And it's sad that he sit us up there wearing these little shirts. They got little, 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 little shirts that looks like army shirts. But he diss his truth. Oh, I'm glad that he walks around. I'm glad to be an American, but I'm going to diss the truth. Them dudes are, them, them men and women over there fighting for your freedom. So you can go around saying, Scrape that show, your boy. That crazy that shit. If it wasn't for them, your dumb ass wouldn't be doing that. You wouldn't be on covers of magazines and all this and that. You be sitting up there doing other things. But you gonna sit up there and say, fuck the damn troops. They're robots. Hey man, it's their own lives, man. Whatever they wanna do, that's them. Them people wanna enlist for a reason. To serve and protect the country. If you was in their shoes, you would be singing a different tune and you ain't in it. So you, little Bow Wow, and Chris Brown need to wake up and realize something. Y'all ain't shit. Y'all ain't no thugs. Y'all ain't nothing. Y'all think the music business is supposed to be something good? Y'all ain't making no money. Y'all ain't making no good money. You look at all these rappers today. Look what they, look, look at all the rappers I grew up on. <laughs> Look where they at now, acting, making good money. Ice T, he went from saying fuck the police, fuck the police, to being on a TV show making great money. He's public speaking. He's doing more things and still making money. That's a thug right there. That's an OG, triple OG. So is Snoop Dogg. Now you look at Snoop Dogg. He making his money, rapping, acting. On business football team, little football team. Now that's an OG, that's a thug. Ice Cube, he might not been a thug selling dope and slanging it, but look at him now. He went from rapping with NWA, with, from NWA to making Friday, next Friday, Friday after next. Boys in the Hood, now that's a real thug. You ain't nothing compared to these men that did, that was doing the same thing. That, you did back in they day rapping and stuff and look at him now making the greatest money now I get I'm gonna say this the best I say I say this only one person came out shining they ain't no damn fool they ain't like Soulja Boy and Chris Brown and Bow Wow and that's Romeo how come Romeo is smarter than all three of y'all put together Bow Wow, Romeo, and Chris Brown. How come Bow Wow, uh, Chris Brown, and Soulja Boy, how come Romeo is more intelligent than y'all three? You don't see this fool going out saying, fuck the truth, fuck the FBI, fuck the country, fuck everybody. I don't give a damn if I fuck the damn owner. You don't see Romeo going around like that, dude. No, he's smart. His damn daddy is Master P, and he look at him. His damn daddy, he's in the pair smart enough to get his education but all three of y'all can't get a damn decent GED 
GED. I bet they don't even got a GED. I bet they dropped down and they stupid as a box of rocks. I bet, I bet, I bet he got like a third grade. I bet Soulja Boy got like a third grade education. Not to disrespect the old generation that had to do that to support their family. <laughs> but I bet he's got a third grade education. Because he ain't got no damn home training. Soulja Boy has got no damn home training. I feel bad for his parents. Though. I, if I was his daddy, I would have been more embarrassed. I would have been more embarrassed. I would have just, I don't know. I was, that ain't my child. That is not my child. I didn't teach my boys to go around and say, fuck the, fuck the truth. And they fighting for your freedom. Okay. Okay, see, she want to say, see, she want to say, fuck the troops. Okay, let Obama pull back and let, and let, let every country attack us. Let every country attack us. They're going to be wondering, why are the country attacking us? Oh, Soldier Boy said, fuck the troops. We don't need them. He wants us to go into slavery again. He wants another country to take over, so we got to listen to somebody else's bullshit. And you're going to see it near 9-11 just happened. Now, that's even more messed up. If he would have said this on 9-11, look how much hell he would have caught. Boy, you stupid. You is stupid. You Ooh, you just like Chris Brown. Both of y'all dumb as hell. Gonna say it in there, 9 11. I know it's September 6th, but it's you almost saying it in there, 9 11. Like all them people didn't die for a reason. Well, they didn't die for, they died for no reason. But for the firefighters, they died for saving lives. And you gonna say, fuck the troops. You might go, why don't you just go on and say what's up really on your mind that you wanna get off your chest, soldier boy? What you going to say, fuck the USA? Fuck every black person that went through hell and back. Fuck every white person that went through hell and back. Fuck everybody's ancestors. Just fuck, just, why don't you just say, fuck everybody in this country and you hope nobody buys your shit again? Why don't you walk around think you badass be the gun and just say what you really mean? Because what you really talking about is saying, fuck the U.S., fuck your fans, fuck your mama, fuck everybody, because you don't really give two shits on fuck where you came from. That's what's wrong with you. That's what's wrong with these damn kids today. They getting these damn games, they getting the, the limelight a little bit too damn early, and that damn power is to their heads, and they make these dumbass rabbits, fuck the FBI, fuck the government, fuck the truth, ooh, fuck the truth. They dying for your damn freedom, dude. Now, like I said, I ain't supporting them going over to another country fighting and killing. I ain't mad what they doing. They best trying to protect us, man. They doing their best, man. Why don't you just do like, why don't you just do it like this? Why don't you make a video and make fun of homosexuals since you want to sit there and talk bad about truths? Why don't you sit there and make fun of disability kids? Kids that, that can't walk. Why don't you make fun of people that are paralyzed from the waist down? Why don't you make fun of people Kid, why don't you make fun of kids that lost a parent from cancer or a car wreck or from drunk driving? And you sit there and wear that symbol, Superman, and you want to claim it. Man, you make me sick, man. You make me motherfucking sick. I, used to, I like that song, so Soldier Boy. Superman did her and yah. I think they should have, I think every truth should say yah in your motherfucking face. You know what? If it was, if it was back, I was. If it was back in the day when in Mexico, when they had the firing range, what they did was blindfold you, put you up against the wall, and every soldier that's in that line fire their guns and shoot you, cause that's what you need—a good, a good shoot down. I'm not making saying nobody should do that. I'm not saying that. I'm not forcing y'all to go out there and do this to this boy, but he needs a good old ass, fashioned ass whipping. He needs a good old fashioned ass up, but yeah, I can say that. I I ain't tell him go he, he needs to go somebody go whip his ass, but he needs a good old fashioned ass up. But you, Bow Wow, and Chris Brown needs a good old fashioned ass whooping. I think y'all three need a good old fashioned ass whooping. I wish every OG that was in the music business would whip all three of your asses. I would love to see Snoop Dogg. Jay Z, NWA, I know Easy ain't around, Dr. Dre and Manil, all them brothers, man, they work so hard <laughs> to break, work so hard to open doors. 
open up the doors for you, man, to whip your monkey ass. Because you ain't shit if you gonna talk bad about people fighting for your damn freedom. Your ancestors fought for your freedom. In the Civil War, they fought for your freedom. In Vietnam, they fought for your freedom. And your, and your ass had the nurse say, fuck the troops. You is nothing. You is jack shit to me. To me, you is shit. And I think you should, I think everybody, I know some of these people in the world are thinking Soldier Boy is a piece of shit too. Because you ain't really nothing. You disgust me as an American citizen. I don't, I don't think you're not even an American citizen. If you're going to say, fuck the U.S., man, then you ain't shit to me. You just a punk ass, Nick. You better than everybody else. Just because you're in the limelight, they can easily take that shit away from you and you can be a brokest motherfucker around. I would love to see they, I would love to see them take all that shit away from you and you got to start from scratch. Because you don't deserve to be, you don't deserve to have all that shit because you talking shit about the truth. Like I said, I don't support the wars. I don't support the fighting. It's their choice to join the army. It's their choice to join the navy or whatever. But they're fighting for your damn freedom, boy. They fighting. Yeah, he's a boy. He ain't no man. He may, he'll be a man when he does the right thing. Stop being such a damn fool. But he's a boy. He's always gonna be a boy till he grows the hell up. He ain't never gonna be a man. As long as he sit there and act like he badass Billy Gun, he's never gonna be a man. I'm much of a man than he is. I'm not gonna walk around and say, Oh fuck, 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 fuck the troops. I would let him to say that on 9 11 and let everybody just whip his ass. If he would have did on 9 11, I would have, I definitely would have had my foot off in his ass. You is not an American. You just a fucking fool. This is Afro Joe. If you don't like what I got to say, you can kiss my ass just like Soldier Boy King. If you like what I got to say, leave me a comment, a video sponsor on what you think about this topic, about what, what Soldier Boy said. Is he an American or is he a motherfucking dick in the booty ass little boy? Y'all holler at me because I'm tired of this damn fool. I pity the motherfucker who made this dude. I pity him. I pity him.